I do a lot of sneaker reviews, shoe reviews, whatever you want to call it. And I do this because I love to use sneakers or footwear as a utility, as equipment. I love to try a new pair on, see how my body reacts to it, see how it runs in a short distance, long distance, just an overall test of the product itself. And that's why I am just so excited for the sneaker I have today. And that's because I've never tried out this product, this line, this model itself. You know, I've tried so many others, um, especially when it comes to Under Armour. You can go through all of my videos and see I love the light running ones like the Flows. I really love the long distance running ones like the Phantoms. But this model itself, I have yet to try out. So, let's, let's jump right into the shoe. So, as you can see, it comes in a basic Under Armour box like I've shown with many of my other Under Armour videos. Basic, simple, nothing special about it. And the shoe itself, right here, is the UA Hover Infinite 5. Once again, it's got hover technology. If you're looking for the product code, there it is, right there. And 10 and a half. 10 and a five. 10 and a half is the size that I go for. 10 and a half is my true to size in almost everything. My Adidas, my Nikes, runners. There are a few fashionable shoes or Nike basketball that I go up to an 11, but rule of thumb is I go true to size 10 and a half. So let's have a look at this sneaker. First off, let's have a nice little view right here. Let's do a 360. And this shoe is a lot more sleek than a lot of the other models I get. A lot of the long distance runners have kind of this curve and a lip at the toe. You know, I guess because you're running like this, they want less pressure on this side and just a little bit overall different shape. This I think is more of a light runner, a trainer, or at least that's what the build looks like. But I'll have to get it on my feet to see how it responds, you know. I never know when it has hover technology. Anyways, let's dive right into this shoe. So, first off you got a hit of hover in the heel to let you know you got that responsiveness, that foam technology in the back. You got kind of this knitted mesh that comes down over the midsole here. Probably just for looks to break up the two color tones in the shoe. This colorway I went for because, you know, I just don't want a black on black, a white on white, everything. Sometimes, because I have so many shoes, I like to just break up things, especially since I'm going to be using them at the gym or out running. Got a big Under Armour UA logo right here, woven into the back. No heel cup, but you do have this little material here, I think, which they use to help pull this foot on. Normally, you'd see something right here, but they've, they've gone and switched it up, and they've added the fabric. Kind of like a cross side twisted. Then you got another hit of Under Armour. They really like slapping that Under Armour on this pair of shoes. Kind of flatten this side. On the toe, you got a little hit. What's it say? Wow, it's hard to read. T O W I T. I don't. Know. You guys, what do you think? Hard to make that out. Then you got a little bit of a thick groove bottom. I like it when it's separated a little more like that instead of just flat and curved. This feels good, feels grippy. It says hover, the bottom there. And on the tongue, a nice small tongue. It says infinite five. Okay, so that's the overall look. Once again, a hit of Under Armour there. Now this, uh, I, I, like I said, I think it's a light runner. I think it's more of a trainer. Got a hit of Infinite 5. And this is, uh, I'll have to test it out before I can fully give feedback on it. But before I test it out, let's go throw it on feet and see how this looks. Now these, these are Hover 5 Infinites. I don't know. It's, it's messing with my brain because they feel more like a training shoe, like a lifting shoe to me. But they have that flexibility and movement of a runner. Like they feel a little lifted, a little, like they add a little height to me. But they are very comfortable. Getting them on, they felt a little rigid. I mean, the ankle spot right here felt a little different than a lot of the sneakers I'm used to. But no, overall, as I walk back and forward, they seem just to get better and better and extremely comfortable. The support in them is great. What do you guys think? Okay, there we have it. So let's get a side-by-side -side both shoes. 
in hand instead. All right, so go back to it. Under Armour, that UA Hover Infinite 5. Really like the feel of it. It felt more of a, you know, a, a low profile shoe. Definitely going to be using it at the gym. See how flexible they are, this and that. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Tell me, did you guys try any of the UA or Under Armour Hover Infinite models? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, any of those? Did you like them? Anyways. I'm going to go right now and try these out at the gym and see how I personally like them. Because Onfu was nice, but I wonder if they could be even nicer. Anyways, until next time, guys. Take it easy.